Hello everyone, today I am going to install Windows Server 2022. After that, I will install and configuration Active Directory and DHCP Server. I am going to deploy Windows Server into my Hyper-V new Visual Machine. Next, write the name of this machine. Windows Server. Next. Generation 1 next. Give the memory next select network interface next configure your disk next mount installation ISO image file select your Windows Server installation ISO next and finish now I'm going to start this visual machine Select your language and click on next. Install now. If you have a product key, you can enter. If you don't, you can skip. Select standard with desktop experience. Next. Accept agreement. Next. Select custom. Select your disk and click on next. Okay, I have to wait for some minute to installation completed. Okay, I have to wait some minutes to installation being complete. Visual machine rebooted and continue to configuration. Wait for some minutes. Write the administrator password. Okay, installation complete. Now I'm going to log into this server. Change the resolution. Write the password. As you can see the graphical user interface does not change and everything like a Windows 10. Let me check what's Windows security. Okay, that's also included in Windows 10. Check the server manager. Nothing different in graphic user interface.
waiting for server manager to be loaded. Check local server. Change the host name. Restart server. Unmount installation media. Change network interface VLAN and log in to the server again. Now I'm going to install Active Directory DHCP DNS on this server. Wait for some second. Set the IP address to the server IPv4 properties Write the IP address of the server Subnet mask and default gateway Point DNS server to the server's localhost IP address Now I'm going to install services. Next, next, select local server, next. Now check Active Directory Domain Service, add feature and DHCP server add feature and as you can see I have to close and refresh Windows Server Manager to get my static IP address again add a role next next select Active Directory Domain Service add a feature DHCP server, add a feature, and also DNS server. Mm, that's it. Click on next. 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 At this time, wizard give the information about the services like DHCP and DNS service. Click on next and install. Waiting for some minutes to installation completed. Okay, installation finished and I'm going to configure this server. Click on promote this server to domain controller. Select add a new forest. Write the root domain name. 
next as you can see forest function level and domain function level both set to windows 2016 and you can also specify domain controller capabilities as you can see it supports some another level forest function write the dsrm password click on next don't touch to anything here next check net bios name wait for some second okay that's correct next you can also change database log file and syslog file location from here i don't change them click on next next and wait for the summary i can after frequency check i can start installation wait for some second Okay, as you can see, I pass all prerequisite checks successfully and now at this time, I'm going to install this service. Exactly, that's not installed. I installed Active Directory service, but I'm going to configure this service at this step. Install. Okay, at this time, my server configured and the server is going to restart click on reconnect connect again connect again let me close this window maybe solve this problem click on exit and open console again okay by default my local administrator account changed to domain admin account i'm going to log in with administrator account as you can see at the bottom right see now line this is my domain name this server behave as a domain controller after that and you can create a user computer and another feature of active directory okay this server behave as an active directory control domain controller and after that you can create an account computer and use another feature of active directory controller the last step Configure DHCP server. Next, I have to authorize DHCP server to domain controller. Done. As you can see, Active Directory services are installed. Let me check users and computers my domain is cnowline.net and you can see this visual server act as a domain controller now open dhcp server now open dhcp manager at this step i'm going to configure dhcp server scope and other features of dhcp right click and select new scope click on next 
give the scope name next write your IP range let me check what's my server IP address okay going back to DSTP start type is that and end IP is that next I don't have a exclusion next configure release time I'm configured as a 8 hour click on next I'm going to configure server option write your default gateway click on add next this is your DNS server IP address click on next I don't use wins and activate this scope now finish okay as you can see one of my PC in my network get the IP address from this DHCP server okay let me check DNS server open DNS manager as you can see DNS server installed correctly and check forward lookup soon seen online.net DC is my domain controller I am going to check DNS server at this time I am ping test.seenonline.net but uh, it does not resolve to any IP address I am going to create a R record for the test write some IP address for test purpose click on add host ok I am going to ping again as you can see at this time test that seen online resolved to its IP address and okay we can delete that I hope this video will be useful for you and if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and like another videos if you have any question you can ask in the comments have a good day bye bye